I thought that our wedding anniversary would be a great time to start documenting a new chapter in our lives. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize. And that's what made me fall in love. Cause you got a the way your body makes my heart beat sound. It's amazing all the time. You are the only thing I need in life. <gasps> Chapter 2. Year two, you know, all that. We didn't really do anything with year one, but I thought now would be a good time to... Are you going to make me say it? And say what? Okay. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know yet. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. I'm new to this. <laughs> we are going... Well, we already have been, but we are trying for a baby. Baby! Oh, that's super exciting. It's really weird to say. I know, I mean, we've talked about it a lot, but it's weird to say out loud. Um, yeah. Baby. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I am. It's it's definitely going to be weird if and when it happens, yeah, but it's, yeah. I mean, trying is a lot of fun. <laughs> Shh. Oh, is I not supposed to say that way? No. <laughs> probably. Nobody knows how babies are made. Jeez. Stork, no, you just, know, the stork flies yeah. in. Yeah. I tried to catch the storks. That's how I was trying. It's fun, catching stories. Mm -hmm. This video is just about our journey so far and what we are doing and learning to try to conceive. Yeah. And I just wanted to document it because we don't know how long it's going to take. Um, and nobody ever knows we're doing all the right things, but... Are we? Yeah. Okay. I think so. I'm, I'm tracking my cycles. I use um, the fertility awareness method in conjunction with the Kundara app. I don't know if you know what that is. And I also use this little wink. Um, yeah, just like that. It's a <laughs> thermometer and you take your temperature every morning. Um, there's lots of videos I'll link down below. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh. Anyway, we're tracking my cycles and hoping, like trying to time it. And, I don't know how I'm going to put it all together, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't know. Don't know. Okay. I just got to show up every other day. <clears throat> just kidding. Bunch. No one comes. Remember, you're the one that wanted me in the video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can go now. No. Go now? Okay. No. Then you can stay, it's fine. No, no, I go. I go. Cool. The other thing I wanted to talk about is Matt and I have been vegan for about two years now and I really wanted to make sure that I was getting all of the necessary nutrients and just make sure that I'm healthy uh, preconception wise. So we went to um, a naturopathic doctor and she's also a midwife and I got a, a, a blood test uh, and I got a blood test done. Why can't I say that? But I got a blood test done. <laughs> And I got a blood test done. <laughs> Sounds like a rap song. And I got a blood test done. Dun, dun. And I got a blood test done. <laughs> Maybe go from the beginning part of that. Okay. Which is natural so we saw a nat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that this is quiet. So we saw a naturopathic doctor who's also a midwife and I got a couple blood tests done. Uh, we go back in a week, I think, from now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a week from today to see what the results are. I'm hoping everything comes back good. The other thing that I've been doing is a lot of research into vegan mamas out there that raise healthy babies. One of my favorite books so far that I found is called The Kind Mama. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Oh, shush. By Alicia Silverstone. Yes, by Alicia Silverstone. And this book is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm almost done with it. I have, let's see, this, this much to go. Um, but it basically has so much in it. Once you read it, it seems like, why, why didn't I already know this kind of thing? That's how I felt about um, the fertility awareness method I was on hormonal birth control for over 10 years. Um, I would take the pill pack through and not even get a period. And I just 
I can't believe I didn't know about it. Like it's it's been really cool kind of getting to know my own body and learning what it is capable of, which is a little bit scary, especially when it comes to pregnancy, but I think that it's also a really beautiful thing and I can't wait to experience that. Oh, one of the big things, I remember saying uh, when a coworker was pregnant that she said that she wanted to feel what labor pains were like before she got an epidural. And I remember thinking that she was the craziest person ever. And here I am now, uh, like three years later, three and a half years later, um, and I'm thinking about doing a home water birth if possible. <laughs> so I went from totally not thinking that was okay to have, to, to want to feel labor pains, like who in their right mind, to wanting to have an at home natural labor. Um, and I don't do well with anything pain related, but I think that my body was meant to do that. So, and things change, it's just that's where I'm at right now, so it'll be interesting to look back on this and see, I keep looking over there because that's where my husband is now, mm -hmm. um, and see what actually happened. Hopefully we can bring you along on this journey. I'm really excited. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I don't know how Ollie's going <laughs> to feel about it, but... <laughs> He's very much an only child. Person. Yeah, well he loves people, he doesn't like other dogs, so he's an only child as a dog. We could not get another dog with him. He wouldn't be a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Good morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are we doing? Waking up too early. Oh, well, it's because I really had to pee and I had to hold it, right? That's why. I didn't. I, I peed like 10 times last night. I'm so jealous. Uh -huh. So we're taking an early test. Because I'm curious, it's, I know he's not happy, but I'm, I'm just curious because I, I know that it's possible to get one, but it's not very likely, so I thought it'd be fun couldn't, to... Couldn't wait another three more days or whatever. It's, it'd be five days, including today. No. Because I'm nine days post-op right now. Three days. Nine days. Okay, I'm going to go pee and cup, and we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> I finally get to pee. Ben, you both. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were done. <laughs> Yep. One, two, three, four, five. You know, right? Just say to put the cat back on. Start timer. Now we wait five days. Three minutes. Five days. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes. Five days. What do you want to go do in three minutes? Five days. <laughs> Oh to walk back in there? Oh goodness. Look at that time. She's chilling on a dirt road. Yeah. Okay, moment of truth. Close your eyes. Don't look. I don't know. Probably not going to have anything. It doesn't look like it has anything. Can't see. Can't see. I'm going to go with no. It's because that one line means not. I think it's just too early. Mm. Well, now you know I couldn't have gotten a positive today unless we did it tonight. Okay, this is test number it. dose. If you watch it go across. Might take a second, see? And then the other line shows up. Mm hmm. I don't know. Well, that's in like. Nothing like watching your urine go across the litmus strip. See, that means it's not a faulty Look, test. I'm not pregnant. This one, we're 11, 11 days post-op right now. 11 days. Mm hmm. hmm. Does that still, look pregnant? It's still pretty early. Mm -hmm. Probably not much. <laughs> okay. Stop staring at it and let's... Uh, I'm just cute. 
go do something. 15 minutes. Uh, Here you go. Oh, Let's go, puppy. Can't see anything. Okay, we're back. Nada. Oh. Nothing. Nada, nothing. Nope. Yeah, there's nothing there. Nothing. No pregos for you.